Hello there, my name is Mr. Smartonkey. Welcome to another FIFA 14 Ultimate Team Level Up series, this time with Russia. The objective of the series is to go from a bronze team to a gold team, passing through silver along the way. This means that if I win a game, I level up a player, if I lose a game, I level down a player, and if I draw, there's no changes whatsoever. I'm only allowed to go up one tier at a time, meaning I have to finish off the entire silver squad before moving a player up to gold. I'm playing with Russia, so I can only use Russian players no matter what league they play in. Enjoy! Welcome to the second episode of Level Up with Russia. As you can see, the team that we left off with last time, our current record 71 wins, 0 draws, and 8 losses. So, first opponent that we come up against has a left mid in his right mid, a CDM in his left mid, a CDM in his, C in his CM. All over the place once again, just not uh, proper positions and proper stuff. And anyway, it took a while to break this guy down. Uh, we didn't, we scored a fair few goals in this game, but the first one only came in the 34th minute from some shelf. I guess you could call it sweaty. Like I said, I don't really care. I want to win games. I'm not going to not sweaty goals because, or not do sweaty goals because I don't, uh, I care about winning, you know? Uh, anyway, so the second goal comes from Sadiv uh, with a pretty good shot uh, in the bottom right, or not the bottom right corner, the right corner, somewhere in the middle, doesn't really matter where it ended up, but it was only in the second half that we got that second goal, but like I said, we got a fair few goals, so we still have a lot of goals to, to come, and uh, we saw a really nice run there from, I think it was Volkov, yes it was, um, you saw him running like a madman up the pitch, uh, and uh, getting on the header, which was uh, a lot. I thought it was pretty nice, but nothing too special. I mean, headers are still quite overpowered. As you can see, a corner once again. This time, Tarasov, um, my center defensive mid. Um, I, he's been really great, by the way. I'm really enjoying having him in the team. He scores goals, like, well, not cr he's not a crazy scoring goal, but, I mean, he's a CDM, so he, he's doing pretty well. Um, anyway, another goal here from Sadai, uh, Sadiv. Pretty nice dribbling there. Got past a few defenders. Uh, I'm really liking the dribbling on these Russian players. It seems like they're just, like I said in the first episode, they're all just messy. It's weird. To, I, like, I don't have to do any skills or anything. They don't really have any skills, these uh, bronze ones, anyway. But um, I can just dribble past the Defender after defender, and it could be because not everyone on these, uh, like, all, not all my opponents are very good so far. They're all pretty crappy, to be fair. Uh, but still, it's it's pretty weird. Uh, we got a really weird goal, well, not weird goal, but a, a pretty lucky goal. I don't really often think that goals go in in the, uh, the, the like the close corner, but they do for some reason. Uh, it's it's overpowered sometimes. Anyway, a record 72 wins, zero draws, and eight losses. So we of course level up, and I put in another midfielder. Like I said last episode, um, I want to put in like I might as well replace the midfield because that's probably uh, the most important. So Bilya Ledinov, uh, our 74 pace uh, left mid with 77 shooting, which is absolutely ridiculous for a midfield or left midfielder. 72 passing, 72 dribbling, and 66 heading. Not bad at all. But that 77 shooting is absolutely ridiculous. You can expect that from your midfielder sometimes, but not really even that. But from a striker, that is absolute. Or sorry, from strike from a left mid, that's absolutely insane. Um, so that's the reason why I put him in the team. I wanted to see him do that shooting. He hasn't really come into play too often just yet, but uh, he um, he definitely is not bad at all. So we got a bunch of chances here. This guy, once again, was actually, in the beginning, quite hard to break down. We didn't uh, do as well as the lap so, last episode. This guy was actually a pretty decent defender. He was one of those people that constantly calls what you're going to do. And I try and do things uh, very... Um, Unrepetitive, so that they can't like guess what I'm gonna do. But every time he just guessed it anyway. So I want to go right. He knows I'm gonna go right. He, I want to go left. He knows I'm gonna go left. So it's really annoying to break these people down. But we do eventually get a goal. Uh, Volkov here on the edge, passing it into Kubulov, our right mid, I believe, and he hits the post. Not quite a goal just yet, but like I said, we will get one eventually. Uh, Sadiv is here on through on goal. Uh, tries to get past a bunch of defenders. Doesn't quite work out, but it does fall back to Semsh off our center back in mid and he is going to put that away every day of the week um, to make it 1-0 in the 66th minute. Sam Shelf actually really enjo enjoying him as well. He's not very big so he, he doesn't have a whole lot of strength. Um, <laughs> knocks over three, three of my players there. Um, he doesn't have a whole lot of strength but he's actually holding his own quite well in midfield and I'm really enjoying that. He's actually a really good player. Got a bit of fortune there but Tarasov once again I centered as a defensive mid like I said is always there when I need him. He's the center defensive mid but he's always up there which you can't you can say that that's not necessarily a good thing but I don't know he, he's always back there when I need him as well. <laughs> there he is again up front. <laughs> but anyway um, 
I won't spoil anything too much, but yeah, you, you'll see in next episode. He's actually like, he's such a beast, man, Tarasov. He's, he's absolutely amazing. Um, anyway, we get another corner, and this time on Tarasov's head, tries to head it in, doesn't quite go in this time. Um, we got a bunch of chances in the uh, in the late game. Volkov here going through on goal, trying to finesse it around the keeper, hits the, uh, I think it may have been a crossbar, may have just been a, cro uh, a, um, a post, but I'm not sure. Either way, we win the game 2 0. Like I said, not a whole lot of goals in that game but um, we still won so I'm happy and of course uh, the person I still didn't really know who to replace everyone was doing so great but I figured I might as well finish off the midfield and replace my right midfielder who hasn't been bad at all but it's just everyone has been great I don't know who to replace so you put in Ignatiev or Ignatiev uh, 80 pace, 60 shooting, not too great, but 74 passing, 73 dribbling, 65 heading. Overall, pretty decent player, and there's not too many good uh, silver right mids. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.